I know, right? What up, what up, what up, what up, people? What's going on, what's going on? What's poppin'? We are here. We're in the building. It's January 1st, <laughs> yes. 2022. It's, two, it's, it's 2022, people. So it's it's time. First show of the, the year, man. First live show of the year. Um, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Shout out to Explode. Shout out to Jungle Struts, Joe Blass. What up, Michael uh, Kahan? What's good? What's good? Who else is up, man? Ronnie, what's going on? What's going on? I'm up in here. Yeah, April's still in the. She's still in the bill. She's still in the chat. So we got we got to give a round of applause to that. All right. So we're gonna be. This is gonna be a quick show. We're not gonna be on here. Uh, we promise we're only gonna be an hour. We promise. Okay. We promise. Have you met him? Okay, <laughs> promise. So we're gonna try to make this just an hour, and uh, and get it going. Um, but today's topic, guys, five ways to make dating easier in 2022. Okay, so because look, man, every year we want to make it easier for you guys. You understand what I'm saying? But remember, the holiday sale is still on up until midnight tonight. So you have about six hours left to take advantage of the holiday sale. So shout out to everybody who took advantage of the holiday sale. Let me give you guys a round of applause. Give you a round of applause for everybody who took advantage of the holiday sale. You guys are on points because I'm telling you, when you join that bad boy membership and you get it cracking in 2022 is going to be your year, people. I'm trying to tell you that you got that right now. And for those who don't know, actually, let's let's show the commercial real quick. Because remember, you still you guys still got six hours, right? And before I even uh, show the commercial, I want to show you guys the new Bad Boy membership program we have called 10 False Beliefs That Are Fucking Up Your Game. Okay, so this is the new program on the Bad Boy membership right now. So if you go to Bad Boy membership right now, you can check out this program, 10 False Beliefs that are fucking up your game and how to fix them, right? And what I'm going to do is later on this week, I'm going to give you guys a preview of this program so you guys can check that out. You feel what I'm saying? But before we get into all of the other good stuff, let's get into this. Yo, 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 what's popping? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So it is that time again, the holiday sale, people. It is from December 26th up until January 1st is the bad boy membership holiday sale, all right? So the holiday sale is when you join the bad boy membership, from December 26th through January 1st, you're going to get a lot of free stuff. All right. Check this out. So when you join the bad boy membership on the holiday sale, you're going to get my new book. Looks don't matter. Seven ways to attract women without your looks for free. This book isn't even officially out yet. So you're going to have access to this book before it actually officially drops. You're also going to get the ultimate bad boy package. Now, what's the ultimate bad boy package? I'm glad you asked. So the ultimate bad boy package is basically almost all of my products in one package. So what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get the Bad Boys Guide to Dating DVD, you're gonna get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day ebook, you're gonna get the Manhood in the Game seminar, you're gonna get the Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men audiobook, you're gonna get Banned from YouTube Dating Advice Mixtape for Men, you're also gonna get How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women seminar, you're gonna get How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women, Women seminar audio, and you're also gonna get these other bonuses. One is the simple way to talk to women, you're also gonna get the Abundance Mindset, how you must think and act to date multiple women successfully, the conversation booster, the confidence booster, what every man should know about sex, dating, and relationships, DVD, the secret woman code, seven things women do to deceive and play games with you, step up your dating game audio seminar, stop being nice and friendly, how to quit being the nice guy that gets stuck in the friend zone, and also man up, the principles every man should live by to be successful in love and in life. So you're going to get all of that, which is in the ultimate bad boy package. So remember, you're going to get looks don't matter, seven ways to attract women without your looks and the ultimate bad boy package for free when you join the bad boy membership on the holiday sale. Remember, guys, the new year is coming up. Step up your game. Do not do the same thing that you did this year, next year. So make sure you go to badboymembership.com to join the bad boy membership. 
All right, we back, we back, people. We back up in here. Shout out to everybody in the chats. And shout out to my dude, Unique79. Woo! Unique79 is in the building. Shout out to Unique79. Appreciate having you back, my brother. So shout out to you, man. Good seeing you in the new year. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, we appreciate you over here, man. You, you already know. You family. You feel what I'm saying? So so shout out to you and shout out to everybody else in the building, man. Uh, shout out to Certified Tyrone, By, uh, Byron, what's good? Aquarium Prince, what's going on? Joe Blast in the building. Shout out to Miles Morales, Iceberg S, Pervesh, Keith Joick, Aussie, what's good? Who else we got up in here? Uh, man, we got a lot of people, man. Shout out to Entrepreneur King, Ray Eris, man. Shout out to all y'all. So today we're going to be talking about, and guys, the phone lines are open, 516-387-1224 if you want to call in. And um, if you have a question, put a queue in the chat and we'll save the questions for the end. You feel what I'm saying? And I'll have I'll queue all the questions. You feel what I mean? So only ask it once. Right, exactly. So you, right, you only got you know you only need to ask it once and I'll I'll save the joint. You feel what I'm saying? So we'll make that happen. All right. So let's get into this topic, man. Uh five ways to make dating easier in 2022. Okay. 2022, let's let's start the new year off right. Well the first thing is you need to get on the bad boy membership. That's facts. You gotta get on the bad boy membership. That is true. <laughs> That is true. You need to get your profile looked at mm. on our next profile show. All right. We're going to have a profile show. So you guys keep sending in your uh, your dating profiles to questions for Locario at Gmail. That's number four. Questions number four, Locario at Gmail.com. Send me your dating profiles and stuff. So we, when we do the next dating profile show, you know, we can uh, help you guys with your stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Pictures and bio. Yes, pictures if and bio. You don't send the bio, we don't do the whole thing. Right, exactly. So Thank make you, sure you guys make sure you guys do that. All right. So now and remember, guys, leave your questions, a cue in the chat. And if you uh, want to call up 516-387-1224 is the number. All right. So five ways to make dating easier for you. And this is a no order of importance. We just going to, you know, go through this and we're going to make that happen. And then we're going to get to you guys questions and all that other good stuff. Right. So, um, the first thing we have on the list to make dating easier for you in 2022 is to stop lying to yourselves. Okay. Oh yeah, exactly. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. All right, guys, stop lying to yourselves, all right? So what does that mean, right? So what you got to understand is this, guys, is that the reason why dudes is having it hard in the game is because they're lying to themselves. And, and everybody does this, you understand? But you have to stop doing it, you understand? And this is the thing. A guys call up, you know, when they call up and they're like, oh, this happened and that happened, but they're not giving the whole story. Right. And you know then the longer they talk, mm -hmm. then the more it reveals. And then you're like, oh, well, now it all makes sense. Exactly. So cut all the BS. Stop lying to yourself. This And this is the thing. If you're having issues with women, just admit you have issues. Just like, you know, if you go to an AA meeting and they say they stand up and they say, hi, my name is Bob. Uh, you know, I'm an alcoholic. You understand? You have to admit that you have an issue, but you got to admit it to yourself. You understand? Admit it to yourself, right? And then you say, hey, listen, I'm having issues with this or with that. And then you get help with that situation. Or if you're in a situation with a woman and you know she's playing you, say to yourself, yo, bro, she's playing me. Like, why? Like, you got to say that to yourself so you can actually progress and move on and not get caught up in the nonsense. Well, I think also when mm -hmm. you are, if you fail to admit it to yourself, mm -hmm. then you can't even start to fix the problem, right? right? Because you don't think there's a problem. Mm -hmm. So you have to first identify that there is, in fact, an issue right? Um, so that you can then go ahead and fix it. Right, exactly. And uh, Eugene Bruno, so I, I, I pinned the uh, donate donation at the top. So if you guys want to donate, hit that donate button at the top of the chat. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys uh, hit that up. But yeah, you got to stop lying to yourself, people. You got to stop lying to yourself. So what happens is, is that if you're in a situation and you know that this girl is using you for your money, 
You know that this girl is stringing you along. You know, and, and, and when I say you know, I mean you really know. But what happens is, is that you want to lie to yourself to feel better about the situation. Because you might have been in a situation where you haven't had that much, you know, interactions with women. You finally got a girl who is like giving you attention. So you want to think is something that is that is not. But you have to admit that is not something so that you can actually progress. That's that's what I'm saying. So you got to stop lying to yourself, people. You know what I'm saying? That's number one, right? Now, let's move on to number two. Now, the second uh, sign or the second way to make dating easier in 2021. Oh, this was mine. Right. April was talking about this and I agreed. You can, you, can, you can say it. Go ahead. Get out of your comfort zone. Exactly. Get out your comfort zone, people. Get out your goddamn comfort zone. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing every day and expecting a different result. Exactly. If you are not willing to change what you're doing mm. to get a different result, you will continue to get the same result over and over again. Exactly. And so a lot of guys got to get out of their comfort zone. So Chris Paul's like, I like, he's like, I like the comfort zone. <laughs> but that's why, of course you're going to like it. That's why it's called the comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? But this is the thing. Let me tell you guys. Step what, outside what, that box. Right. You, let me tell you guys what, what the comfort zone is for a lot of y'all, right? The comfort zone for a lot of y'all is just watching YouTube videos. Now, we all like to watch YouTube videos, but you got to get out there. You have to get outside and get out that comfort zone. You know, a lot of your comfort zone is waiting for choosing signals. You understand? You guys have to get out that comfort zone and approach, right? Your comfort zone might be just talking to girls very on a very platonic vibe, right? You got to get out the comfort zone and start flirting. Because it's not risky. There's no right. risk of exactly. rejection yeah, yeah. if you are just being friendly. Exactly. Exactly. But then you're also not getting what you want. Exactly. Or it takes a very long time to get what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Andre Teller said the comfort zone is between my legs. Hilarious. Uh, but that's what, too. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, you guys, <laughs> gotta, you guys gotta make sure that you get out your comfort zone because I'm telling y'all, the comfort zone is the reason why you're in the situation you're in now. Yep. That's not working for you. You know what I'm saying? If you're sitting there wondering like, man, you know, why am I not getting stuff popping? Why is why am I not getting things going the way I want it to go? It's because you're in that comfort zone. You got to step out of it. And this is the thing you got to understand. Usually for you to get a different result, you have to step out of the routine that you're doing. A lot of times the comfort zone is the routine. Yep. You got to step out the routine so that you can actually give yourself the opportunity to get different results. You see what I'm saying? You got to step out of the routine. You feel what I mean? These as a man, comfort zone equals slowly dying. And that's facts. You yep. know what I'm Absolutely. That's facts. You know what I mean? So make sure that you guys get out of the comfort zone. Now, number three. Now, this is very, very important for 2022. I'm going to tell you why. Number three is so so, so important. So important. At least for the immediate future. Exactly. So number three is this. To make dating easier in 2022, you have to, have to, have to start taking online dating seriously. Okay? Seriously. Guys, I'm telling you. See... With 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 all of this, like, you know, I don't even know if we can say the word on here because, you know, YouTube be acting funny when you talk about the, the vid. But let's call it the vid. You understand? So when the vid is out here, you know, doing what they doing and then they got the, you know, right now it's the Amarion variant. You understand what I'm saying of the vid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> no, it's just the, you know what I'm saying? So we got the Amarion variant of the vid, right? Yes. So because we have the Amarion variant, Right. Uh, and shout out to Marion. We got the Marion variant and there could be other sh lockdowns and shutdown. Who knows? They might be like, look, I got to stay in the house again for, for, in, in, you know, an exorbitant amount of time right now. What you got to do <laughs> is make sure that your online dating game is tight. Yep. Tight because there, there's going to be, there could be a time where, that's the only access you're going to be able to have. Well, you know and, I, and I think you have to start making something happen now, because mm. if we go into a lockdown, it's going to be really hard to get 
a any person, male or female, but I would say especially a female to right. meet with you if she has, you know, no interaction and no mm. like previous history with you and, and right. so on and so forth. So I think, you know, I mean, obviously things are a, a little crazy right now, but mm. I think people are still open to cautiously meeting. Right. And things are still open. Right. Mm -hmm. So before, you know, there ends up being another lockdown where things aren't open, like get all your ducks in a row exactly. and, and have things lined up mm -hmm. so that you're not only sitting at home watching YouTube videos, wishing you had taken online dating seriously right. January 1st. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, you definitely want to have something lined up, too, because if you're, if you're talking to some girls right now then that's good. But get some more girls they're talking to. So if, if stuff does happen, you already have women on the roster. So you can hit up this girl, that girl, that girl. And be like, hey, what you up to? What you doing? You know, and so you have someone you already know that you can meet up with. But as of right now, let's say you don't have that. But let's say tomorrow, there's like everything shut down, right? You can still hit up people, on, hit up the women online and still FaceTime them and be like, hey, well, listen, um, you know, Let's, you know, come over to the place. You know, I, I just took my, my, my vid test. You feel what I'm saying? I don't have the, the, the Omarion variant and you could take your test, make sure that you're, you're good. And then we could come together and we could get stuff popping like this. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And then those things oh. could go down. You know what I'm saying? Uh. What are you saying? So, so those things could go down. And Ray, Ray said. What did Ray say? Hold on. He thinks that maybe um, online dating is for other people. It's just not for him. Isn't he married? Is he the one that said he was married on a live stream oh, most I don't recently? Know. Because I don't know. So, so it might Ray's... not be your gold mine if you're married. Just saying. Right. So, <laughs> but I'm telling you, I, I got to get up on that 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 uh, online dating stuff, people. is. I'm telling you, y'all are missing out. Did you know that we're Andre's favorite couple? Oh, really? <laughs> Shout out, to, shout out to shout out to Anjay in the building. What's going on? What's going on, girl? <laughs> shout out to Anjay. You said you how do 79 you... can't stand the moan. Is that because you feel like you're just not getting enough of it you, your own? Said, you're not said, making women moan like that. Is that said, like hate because you're projecting? He said he can't stand the moan. Yeah. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, what Sorry. about this though? Oh! He does like that one. Which is so that you like no, that one no, and not the no, no. <laughs> but, Oh me. man. But um but Chris, you said uh how do you meet go meet chicks in person if you don't have the the thing, the, the jab? <laughs> I mean, well, it's the thing, bro. You know, words are powerful, man. Listen. Word see, let me tell you guys something. And there's always you can get a rapid test. Right. Let me tell you something. The vid is no there's is no match for the game. You understand what I'm saying? The vid is no match for the game. The, the vid don't stop the game. You understand what I'm saying? The, see, guys, let me tell you something, man. If, if you if you if you if you're on top of your game, this can make it even easier for you to pull women to your to your place, to your house. Right? You get on the, get online, talk to them on FaceTime, be like, listen, baby, I would love to take you out to dinner. I would love to, <laughs> but I'll cook for you instead. <laughs> right? No, he's like, he's like, I would love to take you out to dinner, but it's just not possible. It's not possible right now. You know, there's a, there's a thing going around and I want to make sure that we safe. So how about we snuggle up next to my campfire next to my, my, uh, what, what they have the, um, chimney. Fireplace? Yeah. The fireplace. fireplace. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my digital fireplace. Listen, if you got a fireplace, I'm coming over. No, it's a digital fireplace. It's, and you just turn it on the TV and it no. looks like fire. Yes. The digital fireplace. And an electric blanket. Exactly. An electric <laughs> blanket. And you just, you just <laughs> cuddle up in there, get some Netflix going on, you'll be good. You know what I'm okay. saying? So yes, I'm telling nobody you. Nobody cares what's on Netflix. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, but that's what it is. They said Brazzers is hilarious. You guys are watching a lot of porn, I see. Um, so the next the next thing we have on the list. I don't know what that means. What? Brazzers, you don't watch porn? Not that. Oh, that's apparently. yeah. Brazzers is a very, a very, uh, a very, um, you know, successful porn company. They oh. do a lot of, a lot well. of good stuff that, over there. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but know. next thing we got on the list, people, the number four is be direct about your intentions. God damn it! Ah. <laughs> be direct, people. 
Be direct. <laughs> Listen, in 2022, you got to stop all this indirect stuff. It's you got to get direct. There's no time left, people. Listen, anything could happen. Remember this. See, before you could say somebody could tell you something and you'd be like, come on, man, that's bullshit. Like before people could say that and you would say, that's bullshit. That ain't going to happen. But because of the vid and the Omni, the, was it the Omari Cron or whatever, the Omarion. Omarion variant, all that other stuff, because all this crazy stuff happened, like if, if back in 2018, if you would have said, yo, listen, in 2020, We're people are going to be walking around, down. they're going to lock everything down, everyone's going to be stuck in the house, and people going to be wearing freaking face masks, and they got to spread six feet apart. If, if you was to say that in 2018, people would have been like, get out of here. And you're going to need a uh shot to go here right. here here and here you can't go to the gym mm -hmm. blah 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 and then if anybody told you and there's the potential that it could happen again in 2022 right exactly you would have been like get out of here yeah exactly you were like that's that's nonsense right so who knows what's gonna happen you understand like next year people could turn into zombies and aliens will come down and, and robots will take over but you, we'd be so cute right but, but you know it's funny though I was thinking, you know, when you go into like these 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 grocery stores now yeah. and they, they have you bag your own groceries and check out on your own. Yeah. I'm telling you that I'm on my conspiracy theory. So okay. they're 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 preparing because they're going to have robots soon. Mm -hmm. And then now there's going to be no jobs. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For the for the people. But there's people gonna be don't no, want jobs right now. Right. But there's going to be no people, though, oh, because, you know, okay. things are happening. But I don't want to go too deep because I don't All want, right. you know. I don't want the, the guys to come like after the aliens exactly. are going to come and take you right. away. You know what I'm saying? But what I was saying is you guys have to, have to, have to, have to, have to be direct. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we don't know what's going to go down. We don't know how long you listen. Betty White just died, man. I love Betty White. I mean, she was 99, but still you can die at any moment. The, the world's grandmother. Right. John Madden just died the other day too. You understand what I'm saying? People is dying left and right. So you want to be direct so you can actually live your life, meaning don't beat around the bush. Let a girl know what you want so you can make things happen now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that you can make things happen right now. You see what I'm saying? You want We want things to happen now. So the more direct you are, the more you're going to get things to happen now. Also, you're going to stop wasting a lot of time with these women who don't like you. So a lot of y'all have been forever so scared of rejection, so scared of things going down when it comes to you dealing with women. So you're being very tiptoey, you're being very indirect. So you're scared of like what's really going to pop off. So all I'm telling you guys is be extremely direct. Don't be scared. If she rejects you, she rejects you. It's what it, it is. What it is. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're not going to die from it. Exactly right. Right. <laughs> you know what so I mean? I mean, that's like what's the worst that could happen? Exactly. You just move on to the next, mm -hmm. right? Facts. Girls are like buses. Miss exactly. one, next 15, one coming. Exactly. That's it. That's it. You just got to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So now we up to the number five. We up to number five. So number one, again, was uh, stop lying to yourself. Number two was get out of your comfort zone. Number three was take dating online dating seriously. Uh, number four is be direct about your intentions. Now, number five, and we've been saying this on this, this channel forever. But every year it's relevant. Every year you need to make sure you're, you're this is this is something that is in your game, right? Now, number five, to make dating easier for you, not only for 2022, but the rest of your life. You understand what I'm saying? Is stop complaining about women. Okay. Listen, guys, stop complaining about women. And, and, and when it, whenever you feel like the urge to complain, just like you got to just stop yourself. You know, you know, when they when they do the rubber band, you put a rubber band on you, you snap, snap the rubber it. band. Every time when you, you, you're you about to complain, get a rubber band, put it around your wrist and just snap that shit. Every time you're about to complain about a chick. You understand? Because this is the thing. You could hire me. I'll just smack you. This is the thing. The more you complain about women, the harder the game is for you. Period. Well, especially if you're complaining about women to women, mm -hmm. because then you just come off as like this bitter right. guy that nobody really wants to interact with. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm telling you guys, 
Stop complaining. Like, listen, this, this is a good rule of thumb, right? Just whenever you're dealing with women, right? And, and just not just women, but, but just life. Just say that it's your fault. Find, find a way, even if you even if you feel like it's not your fault, find a way to figure out why it's your fault. You can tell me anything. I can tell you why, why it's my fault. You understand what I'm saying? He said, how much I want to bet uh, the people who hate on Lucario and turn around and pay top dollar for an OnlyFans of these two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got jokes. That's you got hilarious. Jokes. What makes you think we don't have an OnlyFans? That's hilarious. Oh, my God. We advertise everything. Some things are mine. <laughs> that's hilarious. But, you know. That's what I'm saying, guys. Don't complain about the chicks. Don't complain about the chicks. I'm telling you because, listen, the more that you put the onus on yourself, right, and get used to doing that, then it's going to be easier for you to be the type of guy women find attractive. Let me let me break this down. You understand what I'm saying? Let me break this all the way down, right? Now, Whenever you take accountability for your situation, right? All you do is you keep improving. You keep going up and up and up and keep improving because you're saying that everything that's happening is because of the stuff I did. So if you're in a situation where, let's say, for example, you had a chick who's who ain't about shit and she's cursing you out, disrespecting you, whatever, you got to say, yo, that's my fault. I, I chose her. I kept dealing with her knowing that she had an attitude. I kept giving her chance after chance after chance. Right. And so you, you take ownership of that. So then you say, you know what, next time I got to be careful about who I choose. You understand? So now you say, OK, cool. Let me choose a better woman the next time. So you learned that lesson by taking responsibility about your part that you played in the situation. Right. Let's say you have a baby mother that you can't stand. Right. But she has you have a kid together and you're going through a bunch of craziness with her. And you're like, man, well, listen, you know, I chose her. I got her pregnant. So so let me. Let me see what I can do better. So now you go from complaining to actually, you know, take responsibility. You understand for situations, right? So stop complaining and then take responsibility. And then what will happen is, is that you're going to up your game. And when women interact with you, right, what goes down is, is that you become a more assertive, attractive, dominant type of dude, because now you look at it and say, I am the master of my dominion. I, I, I run how I create, I, you know, I create my life a certain way and I run that stuff. So when you deal with a woman, then you're more decisive with her. You're more uh, uh, dominant with her. You're, you're, you're more confident with her because you're saying, I am going to make sure that all of this is about how I'm creating it. You see what I'm saying? So, so definitely, you know, uh, try to take heed to that. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. So, uh, so let's take a call real quick. Let's take some calls and we'll get to some of these questions. And uh, so let me, I'm keeping a track Just on time. Just a reminder, you're right. only on here till 7.15 Eastern Standard Time. Exactly. And remember, guys. To go to dinner. Yes. And remember, guys, the sale is still on till right midnight. now. Till midnight. Tonight. Tonight. So this get on top of that. Be, you think he's the hardest working man? You have no idea. Um, because he listen. will, I remember last year. Mm-hmm. He was sitting in bed, oh, making sure that you guys got all your stuff. Oh, I <laughs> have all these people that just got on the membership, mm. blah, blah, blah. He works his ass off for you guys. It's That's, it's because I love you guys. I love you guys. Thing, I want to get right? you out of game. I want to so, get you out of game. It's a good gig. So let's go to uh, 347. 347. What's popping? Who this? Lucario, what's going on? April MC, what's going on? Happy New Year's. You what know, up? I donated you and you got to Happy New Year. What, what up? What up? What up? What's going on? What's good? What's good? What's good? Yeah, what's good? I, I, I just, I just got a, a, um, a few quick comments and then just a, a, another quick question. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, like I said in the comment section, I, originally I wasn't even going to get the jab, mm -hmm. but then as soon as I found out that I can't go tricking where I'm considered a high value man, I said, nah, fuck that. Shit. I can't <laughs> <back today." All laughs> Do you, you live in New York? Did you get $100 to get it? Uh, what's that? I said, you live in New York. Did you get $100 when you got it? 
Yeah, yeah, I got, I got the, uh, I got the gift card. I'm um, telling you, then, I um, swear, the, New, the city, uh, the state of New York gave away hundreds of yeah. thousands of dollars in the last week. That's crazy. That's crazy. Listen, I'm, nah, but you got to. They, 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 they made it. They made it ma- mandatory now for any, any, any job. Yeah. But um, mm. on all seriousness, though, I think now if you're a content creator, you better be careful who you're doing videos with and, and who you are associating with. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, there's been some people in the um, the white red pill community mm. that been associated with some really bad things recently. Mm. And I, and you're, you're going to see within the next couple of years, it's going to get flipped on his head if things like that keep mm. happening. I think I, I, think um, I know what you're talking about. about. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what he's talking about, I, but I'm assuming you're not referring to me because nah. I think he's pretty safe doing a video with me. Nah, he's a hurt you. <laughs> I, I, I think I know you're talking about too. I think I know you're talking about too, but I, I, I ain't going to say no names. But e- email me though, because I, I want to know if we're talking about the same type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure, no problem. But my only thing I do want to mention is um, I'm 33 right now, mm. um, and I've been having um, not like necessarily like spinal problems and stuff like mm. that. But I do have, you know, my my, my medical condition could go anyway at mm. the end of the day, and I want to live life to the fullest. So I want to start like traveling more, mm. but I also want to start dating more. But the only thing is, brother, um, brothers and sisters, I can't drink. That's mm. it. I can't really drink alcohol. I can't smoke weed mm. anymore. Those things I just can't do it. Mm. I didn't um, drink for a long time. As I, was that? I said I didn't drink for a mm. long, a long, long time mm. um, for all of my like late teens through my 20s into my 30s. I did not drink at all. Mm. Um, so I think it's totally possible. And I think and I went out with my friends and dated and went to bars. I just didn't drink. Right. You don't you don't need to, you don't need to go drink. You can, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do besides drinking. But you know I think you can you can go all the places. You just don't have to partake. I mean, unless you unless you personally have a problem like being in that environment and not being able to say no. Um, like, I think you can still go and do all the same things. Right. I hear you. But um, just because I'm pretty sure there's a question a lot of people are going to have. Yeah. Um, how do you go around? Budgeting, let's say, for example, and not that money's the issue, but again, one does got a budget. Yep. Mm. How do you go around budgeting? Like, you know, I still want to travel the world, but at the same time, I do want to go out more. Because I think really that's mm. really what stops a lot of people from mm. going out. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. nobody wants to be spending no two, three hundred dollars a night every right. weekend and right. stuff like that. Right. You know? right. Well, the thing is this, like uh, uh, shout out to the Bad Boy memberships. I have a program called uh how to spend ten dollars or less on a date? You know what I'm saying. So I, I give some ideas of like cheap dates and stuff. You know what I mean. But um, but but the thing is, is like you said, you want to travel, you want to do all these things, but you don't want to like go crazy. It's really just about um, like having a specific budget for the month. You say every month I only spend this amount on dates yeah. or or going out, you know, doing certain things, right? And then I spend this amount on like travel or whatever it is. So you just budget yourself in that way, and then stay within that budget, and and then also. When you're dealing with women, you tailor your dating to that budget. You see what I'm saying? So let's say you say my budget of dating is, you know, a hundred dollars a month or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just using that as an example, right? And you say, well, listen, I'm, I'm I don't spend no more than like fifteen, twenty dollars when I go out to a first date. You know what I'm saying? So that's like five, six first dates in the month that you got a budget for. Now after that, if you meet somebody else and you say, hey, listen, well, um, you know. You could come to the crib, but I ain't going out nowhere. We could go take a walk in the park or do something free because I ain't, you understand what I'm saying? So you just budget based off of, uh, or you date based off of your budget. You see what I'm saying? You go out and you do, and you interact and you make things happen based off of your budget. You see what I mean? That's that's all it is. So it, it's not anything that, because I think a lot of times what happens is, is there's guys who get carried away with the with the dating, meaning they'll be with a girl that they really like and they go out and get a drink and then all of a sudden she want to go do something else. And they're like, all right, cool. Let's go do that other thing. And then he ends up spending like twice or three times the amount of money he was expecting to spend. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because but he, then you're he, letting her control the situation. Exactly. Right. And that too. You see what I'm and saying? You get caught up in it. And and truthfully, I mean, I remember when I, I at one point I worked in a bar when mm-hmm. I wasn't drinking, by mm-hmm. the way. Mm-hmm. And if anybody said to me, oh, I'm the designated <laughs> driver, they like they drank soda or whatever they wanted for free all night long. Like, mm. it's not like you're charging that person to drink something that you can just pull, you know, pour out of a gun. So, right. you know, I think it's, 
it's again, it's figuring out what you want to do. And, you know, the dates are mm -hmm. if you say like, hey, let's go out for a drink or a coffee, mm -hmm. um, whether you drink coffee or you drink tea or you drink a bottle of water, like nobody cares. Right. And nobody's like, well, why aren't you drinking? And as long as you can say, like, listen, I don't drink, but I'm fine if you drink. Cool. Yeah. You can go to the bar and get a freaking, uh, you know, apple juice or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. cranberry juice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Soda. Cranberry juice, whatever. So, you know, because there was a time where I Club wasn't soda drinking. Soda and lime. Yeah. There was a time I didn't drink for like two years. And then I just, you and know, then I would he might go be get, an right? alcoholic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would get like just I would get just cranberry juice. You know what I'm saying? So you could go out and drink and do whatever you want. Just do it how you want to do it. That's that's the main thing. Like do whatever you want to do. Just do it in a way that's feasible for you to do it. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what it is. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, I will say this. So before I leave, that advice can only work at white bars. You go to a Dominican or a Jamaican bar talking about I ain't buying no drinks. They'll kick your ass. Like, <laughs> hey, you got to go to some some of the white, yeah. white joints. You know what I'm saying? Sushi will meet you there. He said sushi will meet you. All right, brother. Yeah, well, I have not. I have not. That nigga be wanting to talk to 16-year-olds. I, I, I'm going to say the fuck away from that nigga. You got it. Oh man! Thank, thank, thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. All thank right, you so bro, brother. I'm definitely gonna watch that program. All right, bro. Appreciate right. you, man. Peace, peace. All right, let's go to uh four zero four and eight one six four zero four. What's popping? Who this? Hey, how you doing? It's Evo. How you doing? What's going on, man? Did, did you donate? I donate one dollar. Oh, you're such a big spender in twenty twenty two. What's going on? Are you drunk? So, um, so I, I have a disability. I have autism. Okay. And do you think uh, uh, guys with autism can get girls? Yes. Yes. There's lots of guys with autism that gets girls. Haven't you seen the show Dating on the Spectrum? Oh, right. There's a show on Netflix. That show is a show all about people with autism dating. What do you got going on in the background? You got a lot it's of shit very going on. Hold on here. Let me, let, me, let me put you on hold for a second. So, so yes, if you have autism, you can, you can still date. You understand? Listen, you can date with a, a bunch of different situations going on in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All dating is, is meeting people. You understand? And seeing if y'all click or connect, that's it. And so if you have autism, yes, you can date. You understand? You can still meet people. You can still interact. You can still do what you got to do. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, but we appreciate your call, player. Oh shit, my then my shit is uh heating up. Hold on, let me let me put this on the the FaceTime joint real quick for a second. Oh. I know, right? That should be <laughs> bad. I, I got I got to fuck with the camera. Hold on, hold on. Let me fuck with the camera real quick because the shit overheated. Um, but let's go to uh eight one six eight one six was popping. Who this? Hey, this is hard headed Mike. Shout out to the monogamous player. I donate. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Let me try to see what's up with that uh, freaking camera. But go ahead, keep talking. Hey man, I just hey, this is as hard to hear Mike again. Like I said, man, shout out to y'all, man. You know, I just turned into that look. I just got drunk for the first time. That I'm 22 and shit, man. And like, every like, I just seen a lot of shit. But like just last night, just being in the club and whatnot. You mm -hmm. know how they say you supposed to just, you know, just. You know, just like like it was chicks walking up to me, like you know what I'm saying, just started dancing on me and shit. You know what I'm saying, but they left. Mm. You know what I'm saying, just waved and said left. You know what I'm saying, but it made me think about Miles Cunningham when he said, "Hey, enjoy your time with these women," and then just move the fuck on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. But yeah, it right. was definitely yeah. I definitely had a good time. But I yeah, I didn't shit. Hey, man, I had a chick with me. Shit, I was getting a. Hey, Chicks was choosing left and right. I I had to tell my I had to tell my best friend when we got back to the house like, hey, you cost me some pussy tonight. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was acting like my girl and shit, man. That's like, what's up. Coming off as my girl and shit like that, man. But but thanks, man. I just want to say thanks for everything. Oh, your friend was I'm cock blocking. <laughs> that's that's bad well, news. That's what's up, brother. She, when she's we, not we, a good wingman. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I, I guess you can, you can, you can say that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, she, she was. wasn't trying to, but you know, women, <laughs> yeah, women gonna be women. Listen, you know, it is. What it she is. knew you know what, what she saying, was but, doing. Uh, she knew what she was doing. You said what? She, she knew. Yeah. 
So yeah. he said he had a female yeah. friend that was cock blocking? Yes. She was acting like his girl. Oh, that's terrible. No, no, no. And on New Year's Eve? That's terrible. She should have been like going to get you girls. That's terrible. You got you got to have a talk or with Or you should have been, is, is she into girls or guys? I think she, she's only into it like if I like if I put her up to it. She don't. She only. She, I think she only do that shit for me. No, you know I'm not saying? talking but, about having know, a threesome. Like, I mean, like, in general, is she into <laughs> girls or guys? Like, does she like she like girls or guys? She like dudes or, or chicks in general? Yeah, she like she like dudes, but she. Was then why didn't you go find her a guy and be like, oh my god, like my friend thinks you're really hot, like blah blah blah, and then you oh, pawn her off on him. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Come on! I didn't think about that. That's and, a good idea. And, and bro, what, what's what's up with you? Hold on, hold on. What's up with your female friend though? Why you why why y'all not smashing? Oh, we are smashing, man. We doing our thing. Everything is cool, man. Just, oh, like, so that's, that's okay. why. So, like, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's why. She's cock blocking, bro. Of course. Because you smashing it. You win. don't think I'd no. be cock blocking any single woman looking at him while oh. we we're out? Of course I would. <laughs> no, 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 no. The situation no, was the situation. She wasn't she wasn't doing it intentionally. She was like, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, she was ready to go. But you know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to the girl, right? And she just she just turned around and walked off. That was it. That was it. She wasn't trying to she she she's not really like that. She was she, you know, she just be in her mood sometimes like oh she's well, ready listen to go. if was i were moment. fucking some guy you know? and he was talking to somebody else while i was there i'd be in a mood too <laughs> yeah, that's what i'm saying well this is happy the thing. new year this is the thing you, well, got, you, got, you gotta have a conversation with her though you gotta have a conversation with her and be like listen when we out and i'm and i'm talking to somebody mm-hmm. you got you gotta back up you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying you gotta tell her you know what i mean you gotta tell yeah. her to chill out either that or then you just yeah. don't go out right you know what i'm saying she she's she's uh oh, yeah. she's jealous, you know what I'm saying? Is she's uh she's probably in love with you, you don't even know, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> see, but, see, girls got see, feelings. See, see, we had we we see see but take me out, we had these conversations, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those situations where she's like fighting it, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. just like you said, you still have the jealousy issue going on, even even though everything is everything. Mm-hmm. I'm not lying to this chick, I told her everything, I mm-hmm. told her to jump, everything's cool. It's just it happened, like I said, it happened. Suddenly, she just was ready to go. The girl I was talking to saw her just storm out, storm out the building and shit. She was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? But Wait, but let me hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this though. I got other chicks numbers and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so, so you're currently smashing this, this your friend, right? Yep. Okay. Now, see, this is the thing though. What else y'all be doing? Like, how many? How how long y'all be hanging? Like, how often do y'all hang out? Oh yeah, we we hang often. We hang often. Yeah, like how often? Like a, like a few times a week. A whole like a few times a week. Yeah. Does she spend the yeah, night? About like twice a week. Like twice a twice week. Twice a yeah. week. Does she spend a night? Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? <laughs> Ooh, uh, shit. It's been like um, like a couple. Of, it's been like. I think going on a month or some shit like nothing. Oh, that's it. Wait, wait. So how long? Why you, wait, is she spending the night? Wait, wait, wait. So how long you, you only, wait, how long you known this girl for? Yeah, about a couple of months. Like first time we met, we was, we went we went at it. Like we, just, we did it. Like, okay, so so this is this is so this is basically a girl I mean, you. This is a girl you dating though, right? Like because this is like this is like damn me your girlfriend at this point. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're giving her boyfriend energy right. in everything that you're doing, yeah. Which yeah, then yeah, 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 is yeah. why yeah. she's yeah, getting yeah. an attitude. Bruh. Why are you? Why are yeah, you I'm talking not, to other girls while you're out with her? That's kind of rude, Bruh. honestly. Bro, you know that's your girlfriend, right? Because, because what I'm what I'm saying is, I told everything. Look, I'm a monogamous. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still giving her that boyfriend energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, <Bruh. I'm saying. laughs> hold on, I gotta, I gotta hit the button though. Uh, I'm a fan. Nah, see, that's why she cock blocking, bro. That's why she acting all funny style, man. Cause she, you, bro, you, mm-hmm. you done, you done rolled out the red carpet on this woman. She, she, she not, she not, she not cock blocking you. You was cheating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you cheating? Why are you cheating on your girl, fam? Stop. In man. her face, no less. I know you cheating on your girl in her face. Damn, bro, that's you. You a savage. Why are you doing that to her, fam? Like Listen, she, she trying to look. 
look, I told him, look, she trying to look for me a girl now. So, you know, it, <laughs> it is what it is at this point. You know what I'm saying? I, I, know, I know where I'm fucking up at. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. I appreciate all the game that you've given me. Yes, I know sir. where I'm fucking up now, but it's like, like I don't even give a fuck right now. I just don't. I'm having fun, <laughs> man. It is what it is. <laughs> she know I like other. Right. She, she know I'm into other women. And some of them women is, is her friends and shit. Right. I don't give a fuck. She she loves me. She loves me and fuck right. it is what it is. She gonna Aww, do whatever I say it you're is. You're gonna break it is. this girl's heart. So. Man, well, you you lucky you lucky Steve ain't here. He would have had you call out right now. <laughs> 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 but yo, but yo, brother. I mean, <laughs> hey, call up. <laughs> Call her for what, man? I'm, nah. like, I'm just giving her boyfriend energy. That's it. I'm damn, bro. Energy. That's all. Be, that's, be that's, careful, that's, man. Be that's careful. Like don't don't play don't play with her heart, you, man. man. Women are crazy. Just just be careful, bro. I, I'm gonna holler at you, man. Be safe. I got you. All right, I got man. you. Thank Peace. you so much. Thank Peace, you. bro. Women aren't crazy. No. Men make women crazy. Right, but y'all still crazy. That's what no, I'm saying. We're that's not all, crazy. No, no, no. I'm just saying that he don't know. That he's putting the crazy battery in her back right now. That's what I'm saying, yo. He gotta be careful. But it's it's not because she's crazy. No, I know, but it's see, because of how he's. That's what I know. I agree. He's his what his behavior is, and she's mm. responding to his I behavior. Agree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, I know you agree with that because I've actually heard you say that. Right, in the last exactly. Hours, right, so. right. <laughs> so, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. He, he, he's he's putting that battery in her back, and whoo, you guys gotta be careful, man. You guys got to be careful. So let's get to some of these questions. So King Leak said, what's the best way to tell a woman you want a paternity test without coming off its roof? <laughs> my brother literally told my sister-in-law in the delivery room because yeah. the baby came out and looked just like me, literally just like me. That's my, and my brother is blonde hair, hazel eyes. His mm. wife is strawberry blonde with blue eyes. And my brother literally said, I want a paternity test. He was joking, but now you, you got to tell him. I think, as soon I don't as think possible. That that's unusual nowadays. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think if, if even if you are in a commit, I mean, yeah, I think I think all I think all any time a woman's pregnant, there should be a paternity test. Period. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if you're a monogamous but relationship, I think especially if it's not committed, mm -hmm. like. If you were casually hooking up with this person and all of a sudden they are like, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant. Mm. I'd be like, you know what? Like, just to be sure, I really think we should get a paternity test. Right. Like, no disrespect to you. I just want to make sure before I put all my eggs in this basket and take responsibility for, you know, making a decision with you that we know, you know, what's what. Right. That's facts. I think there's a way to say it nicely. So uh Yo Ten Nexus, Nexus says, if you if I use hotels to smash, how do I prevent women flaking on the day to smash in the hotel? Why don't you get the hotel in the moment? Right. That's like, what you gotta you do. Kind of scope out the place. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was gonna say that. It's, it's, <laughs> that, that you, you, see, you already know. That's what I'm saying. Like you just you 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 don't book the hotel yeah. until the woman shows up. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you can literally walk in. Like, if you know, okay, we're going to be here. There's three hotels in this direct area. Mm. Check and make sure what their availability is. You can even call the hotel and mm. ask, like, what, how many rooms do you have available for tonight? Um, and they would tell you, like, you know, oh, we're fully committed or we only have two rooms left or, you know, mm. we have... 50 rooms left mm. and then you know where you need to be, you know, which direction you need to be going. Right. But yeah, just, you know, wait till her ass show up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't be booking these rooms and shit. Um, you said, was like, if, if you're at the club and talking to a bitch, do you can, do you charge the bitch to the game for asking irrelevant questions, but not responding to your flirtations? Well, this is the thing. It depends on well, this like if you're flirting with her and you're trying to make something happen, and she's <laughs> ignoring what the fuck you're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you reading now? Yes. <laughs> this is <super> Kelly Moore, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> so no, but it's the thing. If you if you talk into a, a chick, and she's not going with your flow, then yeah, you got to charge to the game. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is the thing. 
women do this online. Women do this in person. Women do where they're not really like they're almost like seeing how long it's going to take for you to realize that they're wasting your time. You understand what I'm saying? And they're trying to extract attention from you by them going back and forth talking about nothing when you're trying to get to a certain point. You see what I'm saying? So if you flirt with a girl and she's up there like going on tangents and doing a bunch of other goofy shit, right? That means she's not actually following the flow of where you're trying to take it. So yeah, I would say just keep it pushing and talk to another chick who's just straight up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make something happen. Uh, so he's like, Lucari, have you uh, ch- tried Pink Horse Power by Cameron? Nah, I haven't. Is that like weed or some shit? I, I don't know. I never heard of it. I never heard of that. But shout out to Cameron, though. Um, Kelly Moore said, I DM'd Rihanna, fingers crossed, think she's get a piece of the Kelly. <laughs> this dude, First this. of all, isn't she pregnant? Who, Rihanna? I yes, I heard she was. Right, right. What's her name? What's her name? ASAP Rocky. Yeah. He's he trying to get that bag. Um, <laughs> but, Body Game said, how to, how to get a woman that you are dating to trust you more? Consistency. 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 Right. Consistency. Consistency. You got to be consistent. You got you to gotta do what the fuck you say you're going to do. You understand what I'm saying? Do what you say you're going to do and be consistent with that. The moment that you're flip-flopping and all over the place, she ain't, she ain't trusting your ass. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? So that's that's what it is. And I think, and be honest. Right. Like you need to be consistent and you need to be honest. Right, exactly. So let's let's take uh four one two and then we're gonna head up out of here. Four one two. Four one two was popping. Who this? Hey, Mr. Locario, this sushi. Oh shit. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah. Oh, get it. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, sushi, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Yeah, Did you I go texted out last the night? woman. She. What? what? Go ahead. Oh, I texted the woman, and uh, you know she didn't. She didn't reply, man. Who, who's this? Who's the woman? Okay. Who's who? Who you texted? It's the chick that he. The girl. You, the girl you smashed. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we're okay. saying that uh, mm-hmm. I texted her after New Year, right? And then okay, so you texted, I texted her this more. So you texted her today. Yeah. What time do you text her? Uh, was uh, three p.m. Three p.m. And so you didn't get no no response to, in, in, up until now. Okay. Okay, that's what she says, right? Uh, hi, wait, wait. are you available this weekend? Say tomorrow night, we should get together and hook up. Mm-hmm. She said, Hook up, are you try said friend with benefits? Question mark. Yes, uh, friend with benefit is good, mm-hmm. and then you know, no response to that. So, wait, so she, she said, Wait, what, what did she respond to you and say? She said, Do you want a friend with benefits? That's what she said. Okay, this is what exactly what she said. Okay, verbatim. Yes, I want to hear. Hook this. up. Are you try said friend with benefits? Are you? Uh, tr- there's some typos in there. So, so, it's, so she's basically saying, "Do you want a friend with benefits?" I guess. Right. But but why didn't you leave it open and just say, "I'm open to whatever happens," instead of saying, "Yes, friends with benefits is good." Because if she's not interested in a friends with maybe benefits he wants situation, a friends with benefits. it doesn't matter. No, but, he, but he wants to have sex with her again. But Sushi, what do you so want? So leave though? it open. So Sushi, what do you want? Because what if she said, "I want a, I want a, a boyfriend." Uh, <laughs> so what? I, I mean, I, mean I, I do get the, I mean, I get the vibe that she wants a boyfriend. Like, mm. But uh, oh, I, that's just one of the kids smashing. Her. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Do you, but do you want? Do you want a girlfriend or no? No. Yeah, so she's just trying to hit. That's what I'm <laughs> so yeah, so just, well then, then just let it be. Yeah, just just charge it to the game at this point because if you told her what you want, and, and and so you said you want you want a friends with benefits, she didn't respond after that. Uh. So just, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, so so this is what I was no, telling. Basically, this, that doesn't mean yes or no. Did right, she so, respond or not? So she, she didn't respond. Uh, no, not yet. Right. So it was last text was uh, about three, and then yeah, today after you. So 
not yet now. Okay, so this is this is what you do. This is what you do. Do not respond to her. Uh, don't respond to her at all. Right? If she responds uh, back to you, yeah. so 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 basically, you should you you should never interact with this woman again unless she hits you up. Now, if she hits you up and she's like, "Hey, what's up?" or "What's going on?" or whatever, whatever, right? You say, "Hey, listen." When are you free to come over? So you just stay on your stance of wanting to just smash. Because right now what she's doing is this. And the reason why she didn't respond most likely is this. She's not saying she don't want it because she might still want to keep you in the loop just in case what she actually wants doesn't fall through. Meaning she there's probably another guy she's trying to get what she wants from. God damn this fucking... Uh, thing hold on so she's trying to she's trying to there's another guy that she's probably trying to get some some shit popping off with right and since it's not going to be you right since it's not going to be you then what happens is is that she's trying to get it from another guy right and then so all you need to do is just chill don't talk to her right and if she if she hits right and if she hits you up then all you do is you know, just fucking uh, try to set up a time for y'all to fuck. So all, all that's all you got to do. Just when chicks do that shit, just let them do what they do and then let them come back. If they don't come back, then it's cool. If they come back, then y'all just fuck and that's it. You see what I'm saying? But honestly, yeah, I bro, I knew some. I would have actually waited to have the conversation with her in person and said, "Listen, like I'm just looking for something that's fun and let's see where this goes." Versus saying, oh. yes, friends with benefits. And now you have, you could potentially, you shut it down. But see that the only problem with that is she could be wasting his, ta- his time though. But That's the what whole- time? It's not like he's taking her on a date. He just, just want, wants to have sex with her. Right. But, what, but, but the problem is with that is that if he could have said that and then she could have been like, oh, okay, cool. And then they hang out and then he's trying to fuck. And she's like, oh, but I want to like chill and talk and like i don't feel like doing that today i want to get you know what i'm saying like you know how y'all get y'all, y'all want to extract the attention so and, and remember they already fucked you see what i'm saying so what it sounds like she's trying to do is she's trying to get him in a situation where they could be more more you feel what i'm saying so it. right so that's what i'm saying sushi just stick with your shit talk to other girls you understand what i'm saying and then just keep that shit pushing you know what i mean because these these chicks are here. Yeah, bro. Like, I mean, a lot of women they, they, they just get this. I just get this. Uh, you know, they want a relationship type of vibe from them, right? Mm-hmm. Like when I when I try to say, "Oh, I just want to smash," and then they just like, right? Because she, oh, cause, you know, they're cause, so cause, disappointed. And, right? Because she probably don't just want to smash. She probably because remember, most women they know guys just want to smash, so it's nothing for them to get a guy to smash. They yeah. really want they want a relationship. You see what I'm saying? So what happens yeah. is if they like you, they're going to want a relationship. But if you don't want a relationship, don't give them no relationship. Do <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Just be like, listen, if you want to yeah. hang out with me, all you're getting is dick. Dick is a gift. You feel what I'm saying? So that's it. It's a gift. So so what I would say to it's you again, gift. don't don't call her, don't text her, don't do nothing. If she hits you up, just say, yeah. hey, you ready to come over and, and, and hook up? And then that's it. So that's like she needs to know that's all she can get out to you at this point. That's all you need to know. You feel what I'm saying? And talk talk to other women. You feel what I mean? That's all yeah. you got to do. All right, bro. It's, it's gonna take it like another another two months for me to get another pussy, bro. Oh, oh my God, don't don't talk like that, Sushi. <laughs> You're manifesting, right? Stop. And not in a good way. Mm-hmm. So stop talking like that. It, it, you can meet another girl tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to have that mindset. You, you gotta, yeah, right. Get out, see, you go see? to the bar, go to the lounge, go to the gym, go, 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 yo, go. Get on yo. your online dating and yo, so wait, she wait, says wait, he's wait, like, wait. Yeah, right. I know, I heard. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that shit is funny as shit. Oh sushi. Sushi. Have sushi. a happier new year because Jesus I have to Christ. tell you, and somebody, do you go back when you. After you call in, do you go back and read the comments from when you were live with Mr. Lucario? Bruh. Yeah, yeah, they're funny. Okay, (laughs) well, they should also be quite helpful. Somebody yesterday said, your negativity 
is probably spilling over into how you're engaging with these women mm -hmm. and the fact that you, you know, you have in your mind that all these white women only want white boys and mm -hmm. they don't want the Asian guy and so on and so forth, that that is actually becoming your biggest roadblock mm -hmm. because nobody wants to be with, be associated, hang out with somebody that has all this negativity. Right. I literally just told one of my friends because something about, she sent me this picture that was like being hypercritical of somebody. And I thought, why are you, why do you care one? And don't you have anything better to do with your time than being critical of the way somebody looks? I, I just don't need that in my life, mm. right? So I think you really have to figure out how you can have a more positive approach to what you are trying to accomplish here because you are way too young to be this negative. Right, so Sushi, just, bro, just keep going, man. Don't all worry right. about all that other shit, my brother. Well, we appreciate the call, my dude. Right. We're about to head up out of here, man. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, 512, you got two. You got 60 seconds. 512, what's popping? Who this? Hey, April, how big is Mr. Carlo Lucario dick? This, uh, don't, don't even... Get out of here, you damn nigga! Don't even... <laughs> I knew you he's a bitch, call nigga! Up. You call me, nigga! I knew he's gonna call up. You wasting my time, bitch-ass nigga! Okay. Fuck you talking about! All right, so... so wait, 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 wait. So, JAB said that my method sounds very indirect when I said I would have just said this and then mm. let her come over and we could talk about it. Mm. I'm not saying that it's not indirect, but I also think it's not shutting down the possibility. Mm. And if they have only That's definitely been together, indirect, listen, but if they've <laughs> only been together one time and they've, you know, only whatever been social that one time, sometimes a woman could also feel that she feels like she would be okay with what he wants once she's face to face with him again mm. right over the text mm. it's very easy to be like eh, no i don't need that no right? I, I agree but with you face but to face the only problem though is yeah is that there's a a 50 chance he could be wasting his time you see what i'm saying okay, that's but then that, you just say listen obviously we both want something that's different so right. i'm gonna just head out whatever right. That's that's and, the only thing with, with 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 you know being indirect with women is because it's like because it's almost like you know what it is it's like I always I always say to guys you can't give women room to like wiggle and as soon as she has room to wiggle then there's potentially that there's a potential that you can get your time wasted so so if that girl calls sushi back yeah. and let's say she's like he's like yo come over and hook up and then she goes over to the house and then she's like Oh, but Sushi, let's talk and blah, blah, blah. I would tell Sushi, kick her out immediately. You understand what I'm saying? And be like, listen, I I, you got to go uh, and come back when you're ready to have sex. Like, she needs to know that she can only get dick out of him. Okay, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. But until he has more confidence, mm -hmm. he, I think, also could benefit mm -hmm. from continuing to engage with this woman, not to the point of giving her what she wants. That's mm. not, that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm just saying like to help build his confidence mm. and so you're saying just him dealing with a woman period. Is yes. Make it like, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Mm. I, I'm not saying that it's for everybody or this is how it should be handled for everybody, mm. et cetera, et cetera. But if you're already thinking, Oh, it's going to take me another two months before I can get more right. like then just, you know, be a little indirect so that you can see this chick again, see if you can make it happen again. If you can't make it happen, then that's it. It's cool. It's right. no big deal. And just to Ange A's um, comments <laughs> about the fact that we, they should be friends first, let me tell you, this man would never be my friend. <laughs> I've exactly. tried. Exactly. I've, I've said, you think we could just be friends? Never. But and A said the sex is probably bad, but she was willing to overlook it for a potential relationship. But see, that's that's what I'm saying. Well, that, and the second, that's I mean, the part it, that it, sucks. But if it was a one shot deal, mm -hmm. I, I don't think 
most people mm. have great mind-blowing sex the first mm. time they have sex no no right? I, I get that. i think by I two or three like you know it's either working for you or it's right. not working for you right right so i mean i don't know that she was willing to overlook bad sex but she was probably willing to try it again if there was relationship but even potential. that statement though overlooking it for the potential like why would you want to be in a relationship i don't i wouldn't with, with bad sex but, but yeah. see that and i'm saying that rhetorically because i know what why you understand like women will do that because i wouldn't no a lot of women will do that a lot of women oh, do that all no. day because what happens is that they're like you know i want a relationship so bad yeah no, that no, no. i will sacrifice the sex it's just like when a dude is like it. when a dude wants pussy so bad he'll be like well she's decent looking so i'll you know i'll i'll still hit it you well, know I mean, we were on clubhouse earlier today and there was a lady talking about the fact that she w had been in a relation she was married for four years and mm. in four years only had one orgasm right because he couldn't last long and he wasn't willing to put in the work mm. i mean no it's crazy <laughs> It's crazy. All right, people, we about to head up out of here. Listen, remember, uh, the holiday sale is still on. You got a few hours left, people, a few hours left to join the Bad Boy membership to take advantage of the holiday sale. Um, and yeah, happy new year to everybody, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, you know, uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. You feel what I'm saying? Good to have Unique 79 back in the building. You feel what I mean? Um, yeah, man. So what else? Anything else you want to say before we head up out of here? The truth is inside you. Facts. I agree. I got you. <laughs> holiday presents. Clearly he's not wearing it. What? What happened? Say that again? I said, I got you this very cool present. Mm -hmm. You're not wearing it. Oh yeah, I know. We got to get some, some, uh, some adjustments to it, but mm -hmm. it's dope. It's dope. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to wear it again soon. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate I appreciate you guys. And we will holler at y'all later. And I'm going to play this commercial one more time for the culture. You feel me? Yo, what's yo, good? yo, what's popping? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So it is that time again, the holiday sale, people. It is from December 26th up until January 1st is the bad boy membership holiday sale. All right. So the holiday sale is when you join the bad boy membership from December 26th through January 1st, you're gonna get a lot of free stuff, all right? Check this out. So when you join the Bad Boy membership on the holiday sale, you're gonna get my new book, Looks Don't Matter, Seven Ways to Attract Women Without Your Looks, for free. This book isn't even officially out yet. So you're gonna have access to this book before it actually officially drops. You're also gonna get the Ultimate Bad Boy Package. Now what's the Ultimate Bad Boy Package? I'm glad you asked. So the Ultimate Bad Boy Package is basically almost all of my products in one package. So what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get the Bad Boys Guide to Dating DVD, you're gonna get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day ebook, you're gonna get the Manhood in the Game seminar, you're gonna get the Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men audiobook, you're gonna get Banned from YouTube Dating Advice Mixtape for Men, you're also gonna get How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women seminar, you're gonna get How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women, women seminar audio, and you're also gonna get these other bonuses one is the simple way to talk to women. You're also going to get the abundance mindset, how you must think and act to date multiple women successfully, the conversation booster, the confidence booster, what every man should know about sex, dating, and relationships, DVD, the secret woman code, seven things women do to deceive and play games with you, step up your dating game audio seminar, stop being nice and friendly, how to quit being the nice guy that gets stuck in the friend zone, and also man up, the principles every man should live by to be successful in love and in life. So you're gonna get all of that which is in the Ultimate Bad Boy Package. So remember, you're gonna get Looks Don't Matter, Seven Ways to Attract Women Without Your Looks, and the Ultimate Bad Boy Package for free when you join the Bad Boy membership on the holiday sale. Remember guys, the new year is coming up. Step up your game. Do not do the same thing that you did this year, next year. So make sure you go to badboymembership.com to join the Bad Boy membership. All right, people.